Alright guys, it's that magical time of year again where Autodesk release a new version of Maya. So this week I thought we'd take a look at how to download and install Maya 2016 for free. Autodesk will let you have the full version of the software for three years on a student license. That's a very generous offer so I think it'd be rude if we didn't take them up on it. So let's take a look at what you need to do to get Maya 2016 installed. The first thing you need to do is go to the Autodesk Education website. I'll put the link in the description or you can just google Autodesk Student. Once you're there you'll need to scroll down a little until you see the Featured Products section and then click on the link for Maya. This will take you to the Maya download page. Before you can download the software you need to either sign in or create an account. This doesn't cost you a penny and the Autodesk Education community is a really helpful resource so as well as free software by signing up you'll also get access to some really good learning materials. So if you don't already have an account you need to click on create account and then fill in your details. Make sure you use a real email address because you'll be sent a confirmation email containing a link which you'll need to click on to complete your registration. Agree to the terms and conditions and then click next. You'll now receive the confirmation email. Go to your inbox, find the email and click the link. Once you have your account you can now go back and sign in. Use your new Autodesk ID and password. Next up you need to select the version of the software that you want to download. You can see that Autodesk offer a few early versions as well as the latest. I'm upgrading today so I want to download Maya 2016. You'll then select your language and the operating system you're using. Once that's done you can click on install now. Accept the license and service agreement and then click install. A file will now be downloaded. Once it's done, open it. This is the installer. Once the installer opens, you can choose the option to install Maya on your computer. The next screen lets you choose which components you want to install. Once you're happy with your selections, click on the install button. Now the installer will download and install everything needed. It'll probably take anywhere from a long time to a very long time depending on the speed of your internet connection. It looks like it went quite quickly for me, but that's just because I've sped it up in editing. It really took ages. Once everything is installed, you'll be greeted with this confirmation screen. This tells you that you have successfully installed Maya 2016. You can now close the installer and open Maya. You'll see that it automatically verifies your license, and once that's done, you'll be good to go. And that's all there is to it. If this video has helped you out, then please show me some support by hitting that thumbs up button below the video. I upload new videos every week, including some damn fine tutorials on using Maya so be sure to hit that subscribe button too if you want to see more videos like that. If you need any help or further information, then drop me a comment below. I read and respond to every comment that I receive. If you're just beginning your journey with Maya, then you should check out my video series for beginners which takes you through all of the tools and techniques that you need to know to get the most out of this awesome piece of software. And if you're studying 3D modelling or animation at school, college or university, then you might also be interested in my videos covering some of the fundamentals of 3D theory. Click the links on screen or in the video description to check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.